Hello my loves, I am Rena Wells, your intuitive medicine woman, and I'm here to conclude part three for the Divine Masculine Energy updates. They are in three parts, so just make sure they all have the same thumbnail, so you may want to go back and watch them all because, um, yeah, it's like a big story that lots, lots is channeling. So let's get started. This is for the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine. Now, in the energy spirit, can you please clearing through the Twin Flame Collective, high-level soulmates. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you love it here. And to my returning subscribers, I love you guys. If you guys want to work with me and you're feeling pulled, um, take a look down below. I am now offering readings, but you must email me to get a reading. Also, no, guys, I don't reach out to my clients or anything like that. So I don't follow my clients on uh, social media or anything like that. So, um, yeah, just make sure that you contact me. All right. Or you can book a coaching session through my website. All right. Let's see. Divine Masculine Collective Spirit, what is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine in the energy update this week? That one really wanted to come up. Okay, so we're going to look at the mind space, the heart space. Yeah, the mind space is about letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of light. And I've been feeling a lot of surrender. And this is like two fish here, surrendering to this connection, surrendering to things in their life, surrendering the mind. There's a lot happening in the collective right now about surrender, even with my clients and even with um, just generally, um, even in my own path and even generally in just what I'm seeing in like other readers and things like that, that I follow and other people that I work with. Um, yeah, there's a lot of surrendering that is happening right now. So this is a point in the collective to let go of those mind patterns. In the heart space, I love that the heart is showing up is about listening to your heart right now. So Divine Masculine is really at a point of really listening to his heart. And I'm sorry if you guys hear banging and construction. It is a Saturday. This is why I don't usually do my readings on the weekend, but I wanted to get this out. So I will do my best to edit the video so you don't hear that banging. Um, but yeah, this is really about listening to the heart, trust the messages that you're receiving and letting go of the mind. It's a very important aspect of claiming your divine masculine energy within yourself and also um, in your fear in a twin flame connection or in a divine counterpart. It's really about accepting that piece of letting go of control, right? The analytical piece of the mind we have in the actions is about my dreams coming true, manifesting your dreams. This is actually the portal that's opening. And Spirit wanted me to use this deck about what portals are opening um, because it's there is a massive shift that's happening in the collective. This might be in the fall time when we harvest here on the uh, Western Hemisphere. And it's about all of this abundance that's coming. So this is about action towards your abundance. And we have here about following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. So this masculine is learning how to just follow his bliss, right? And Divine Feminine is doing the same. We have balance here with the moon and the sun, which is absolutely beautiful. This is looks like they're getting off a path. The, this beautiful unicorn and this, you know, beautiful girl playing this flute. It, they're getting off this old path here that you see. So this is going to be a path that is completely different. Okay. I'm sorry for the banging. I was going to pause it, but it stopped. So I don't know. I don't want to put these readings off because it is the weekend and I need to spend time with my family as well. And so, yeah, I'm going to just see if I can edit it. Let's um, pull some divine counterparts and separation and see what is going on with the divine masculine towards the divine feminine please what is going on with the divine masculine towards the divine feminine the collective spirit at this point this is a timeless reading guys so it's whenever this comes across your journey is when you can uh trust that it's in your journey for a reason and it's here so what is going on with divine masculine energy towards the divine feminine thank you in the mind space please spirit heart space action and outcome i'm gonna speak really loud just to try and keep happy oh my god we have pride that's the letting go guys that's the letting go completely of that egoic mind of the pride what is going on in the heart space 
the balance of night and day, of knowing masculine and feminine energy, the sun and the moon, right? That is complete balance, right? Let's see the action. What is going on in the intention and actions of divine masculine towards the feminine and the energies? I want to talk to you, but I am afraid. So there is some fear that's still happening here, but <laughs> I've never noticed this part. They're looking at the old the phone booth and they're like, oh, I don't have that much further to go. And it's right there. Should I do it? So this masculine is afraid, but knowing that this this abundance is sitting here, that when they do do it, look at that basket is completely full. You know, that, that's a heavy load to carry, basically, you know. So let's see the outcome for Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine. The outcome spirit for the Divine Masculine Collective. Can we work things out? Wow, guys, this is some beautiful energy coming in. Beautiful energy. Let's pull some tarot. I am drawn to my deck. Let's see. This is the Cosmic Tarot. It will be available soon. Um, let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine. Let's take a look. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine right now? So remember, guys, these are the energies that I'm picking up on that are playing, right? So if... if um, you will experience, if this is resonating, you're going to be experiencing some of this in your own world, the letting go of the ego and the mind. That's what's happening in the divine masculine's energy right now. So divine feminine, you will feel that. You may feel stuck. You may feel <clears throat> you can't, your throat, right? You can't speak. You're crying. You're whatever it is. You're letting go into a deeper surrender in order to align the mind and the heart here to know what this balance really is about, okay? Action is about, you know... How can I move forward and harvest in my action to do my mission work and to get the best out of my life? How am I going to communicate with the masculine energy within me to communicate what I desire in my life as well? And how can I work things out to follow my bliss, right? That's how we take it for inner union. What is going on with divine masculine towards the divine feminine? What is going on with the divine masculine towards the divine feminine? not juggling anymore okay not not um being pulled in two directions what's going on with the divine masculine in the heart and offer with the page of pentacles what is a reach out you know the heart is saying reach out reach out communicate do something uh, the action is i want to communicate but there's regrets here, blocked off. So there's some sadness here about being blocked off. You know, are you going to accept this? I'm at a crossroads in my life. I'm not sure what I can offer because this page is just a, a small reach out. It's like, I don't know what I can offer. I would love to offer you something, but I don't know where you're at right now. And can we work things out following bliss? Wanting to come out of this hermit mode, okay? Wanting to come out of the man cave. <laughs> Had enough of that darkness, I guess, you know? And um, yeah, I guess it's depending on how far they are in releasing that darkness, right? And where they're at currently on the path. Let's see about juggling here. The two, making a decision. Ending old wishes, old ways of living in their life. I don't want just the nine of cups. I want that 10th cup. How can I move forward? I'm not, I don't want to go back and forth anymore. They're contemplating about how to move forward. We have this card that's come up in my deck, which I cleared, but I clear it before every time I come on YouTube. So Spirit has been doing this lately. So I'm thinking these are signs that I'm just going to take. This is about manifesting. This is about things coming to fruition. We have that twice here, okay? So we have manifestation wanting to come out. There is an offer that wants to come forward of love to start something new, to start a new beginning. So this masculine is definitely feeling the love, guys. Definitely feeling it. He doesn't know in his actions. His mind and his heart are completely coming into alignment. 
uh, this regret and being closed off for so long. Maybe we have the hermit twice again. I have combined my decks. I have like all of these lying around, so I haven't gone through and cleared them and allowing spirit to just combine the decks how they need to be combined. I'm just not gonna. I'm just letting go of control, guys. <laughs> letting go of control. So hermit in reverse again. We have two hermit cards here in reverse really coming out of his man cave wanting to express his regret for closing off the divine feminine and for ending it here and not sure how you're going to take it either right being like damn i ended it but i want to rebirth this i want to come forward with this um we're going to clarify even further so let's clarify the hermit in reverse can we work things out can we do this path together i'm ending i know i ended a friendship i ghosted you is what i'm getting three of cups in reverse three could a third party situation for you guys too we've got two threes here i've ended third party situation i'm ending my heartbreak i'm coming out of this can i work it out with you i'm all over the place though i'm not strong so i'm warning you now okay let's clarify here so what i'm getting i'm going to summarize so what i'm getting from this so far is divine masculine is really in the place of manifesting really coming into heart and mind alignment really wanting to let go of that ego learning how to surrender more to this calling uh really going through some some darkness and purging some of that knowing where to go you know um in the struggle this being pulled back and forth and putting a stop to that back and forth not wanting that back and forth anymore it's it's no longer serving anymore right let's move this a little bit so you guys can see it's not serving anymore and so ending anything anything <coughs> excuse me of material value right remember these are the energies that's going on right now it takes a while to manifest into ground so don't want you guys to become attached okay um we have to take energies and just realize this is what's happening so i need to keep flowing in my life two of wands is like how do i contemplate how do i move forward right so let's clarify that let's clarify that um because this masculine does want to reach out from his heart he's unsure how things are going to sound if he's going to be shut down because he's been shut down and he ended things right and he wants to come forward now and it says here like i want to talk to you but he's afraid because he doesn't know what you're going to do so he has ended third party situation and we've been seeing that in the readings too so if you haven't watched part one and part two go watch those okay so let's take a look at clarify this a little bit more about his ego and letting go spirit he wants to apologize here okay so we have the page of cups <laughs> because of this uh, karmic energy with the queen of wands he wants to apologize he wants to offer uh as soon as i say that he wants to really come forward he uh wants to action this with the king of wands and that knight of cups i really want to come forward i really want to give you this offer uh i've ended it with this karmic situation i want to open up and surrender with the king of cups i want to express my feelings to you wow i've matured you know um, from the page, this is what I'm getting. I've matured from the page of cups, from to the knight of cups, to the king. Whoop. Right? I've matured. I've matured. I, I've moved through the process of maturing maturation. <laughs> is that the right way to say it? Um, of maturing, right? Anything else, spirit? Yeah, I, I need to get honest with myself of why I put a halt to everything in our connection. I want to talk to you about it. I want to, this masculine wants to be open and vulnerable here. So that's going on in his mind. So he is surrendering, right? There was injustice here on the bottom of the deck um, that he couldn't make a decision before and it caused, caused a lot of injustice. So this masculine energy here is saying, I want to offer a new love offer. I want to come into balance with the divine feminine. Wow. Here's the divine feminine. And she came out in the challenge because you are a challenge divine <laughs> you are this goddess look at you holding the world in your hand right that is planet earth you see earth in a very different perspective than most so it's a challenge it's like this is a goddess this is like the queen of the earth how how do i come to this person so wanting to come towards divine feminine it is a challenge okay because <laughs> 
completely wounded about just breakdown after breakdown this masculine has gone through he's had a massive awakening with that tower card okay and about his own instability and not being able to bring anything solid so we have the sun and moon so he is aligning whatever that balance what was holding him up in that balance here spirit that balance of the sun and moon was a foundation a home four of wands in reverse that has broken down um to gain that balance to uh, realize that he is the manifester the magician here okay i'm getting a lot of positive vibes here i'm feeling this masculine has hit a new vibration and he's definitely opening up and letting go here of things the four of pentacles in reverse so he is wanting this queen this empress clarify that what is this offer with the i can't even this is these are union energies guys high potent vibes all right this is divine masculine saying i want my babe i want my boo i want you i'm holding the world with you baby you see this i'm holding the world with you it's a little bit harder for me to hold but i got it and I, you i can hold it on the palm of your hand my baby so that is what is going on with wow union in the heart feeling one with the divine feminine he really is he pushed that ten of cups away clarify that with the ten of cups in reverse yeah he was in separation and he felt how he pushed it away he's healing he's healing clarify that a little bit more with the healing wow 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 he wants to return with the eight of cups in reverse he may have walked away he walked away on a new path he is retracing himself back from that path to come back because he's ended things and he's transforming and he wants a rebirth and a reconciliation with temperance and this is death right oh my god this is not even the right death card the, do you see the synchronicities that happen this is why i've been allowing the cards like i clean them i smudge them i like pull the cards out and stuff like that and this is my deck i'm like when did i create that image i'm like i didn't create that image <laughs> My death card <laughs> but this is coming through because it's a massive transfer i can't even i can't even it's so friggin' magical so i'm gonna put that up here too because that is a massive and look at the major arcana like out of any cards that got mixed up they're major arcana cards death rebirth manifest or creator energy like huge masculine power coming through here and balance balance okay transformation and balance we have here this transformation in this masculine uh, actions right now regret being at a crossroads coming out um let's see why he's in this regret place still spirit and this crossroads because nothing ever got started right it was supposed to start something was supposed to start and it never got started and he feels foolish so he feels a little bit foolish you know about um having to walk into a different path having to go through some darkness shadow work right it didn't get started because he knows he had something heavy okay we have the hierophant in a challenge position so could have been his viewpoint and that he's still alleviating is what i'm hearing commitment marriage could be a, a relationship that he's still alleviating he's in the in between stage with it we're going to clarify um that's kept him emotionally disconnected uh from his divine feminine he was also emotionally manipulated i'm hearing into the darkness that this commitment and the sacred marriage never got started clarify that hierophant here the hierophant is by the ace of wands so passion why is it in challenge i don't want to take this one why is it why is it in challenge why is the hierophant in challenge this is a challenge <laughs> to a cup so yeah it was a relationship or the sacred marriage he couldn't he couldn't decide you know so clarify the two of cups and challenge yeah there was no renewal there and that's the conclusion that he's come to that there was no um renewal of his spirit here he didn't meet god there it was just the same old stagnant type of relationships he's always had and he was clarify the emotional manipulation yeah it was a commitment he was emotionally manipulated into a family situation the ten of pentacles a foundation that became a huge burden and responsibility um that he had to start to take owner he didn't want to take ownership of that why is that he didn't want to take ownership of this commitment 
he, it was like a marriage or a foundation. Yeah, he wanted to get off the path. I feel that this could have been um, someone pushing for marriage or a deeper commitment or, you know, maybe buying or building a new home together and just it created more responsibility. And this masculine didn't want to go down that route. And um, or it was like another it's like up leveling on the path again, even if they're married. It's like, oh, well, let's buy that 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 vacation home we always wanted. And it just added more financial burden or it was like another step that this masculine did not want to take a responsibility. And he was emotionally manipulated into trying to build this and he didn't want to take that responsibility. So he made a decision and this because of the, the lover's connection that he feels with divine feminine. OK, so he knew he had to make a decision out of that. Yeah, and end the toxicity because he could not plan a future this way with the three of wands in reverse that he had to, he wanted something more reciprocal. So that's why it was a challenge. All of these things were coming up in a challenge because then he had to decide in his action place, you know, what do I want? Do I want the sacred marriage or do I want this two of cups? And things were very dark for him because he was emotionally manipulated. And he wants to talk to the divine feminine about this and saying that he's ended things and he's transformed. Clarify this two of swords towards the divine feminine. He wants to talk to you. Yeah, King of Swords this is what I see. He wants to say, you know, I want to come out of this dark place. Because, yeah, I, I've ended this contract. I'm not working and collaborating with a third party anymore. It's completely done. Yeah, and I want you, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. I want to ground it with you. I want something tangible. I want this abundance. And I created this card. I was like, she takes aim. That's what the queen of pentacles does. She is like divine. She takes aim. She's like, yeah, I want that. And I'm going for it. And that's what divine feminines are doing in their life right now. So let's take a look here at the bliss. And can we work things out? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. So the ending third party situation, three of cups, three of swords in reverse, coming out of the man cave, not having strength. Clarify this third party situation. Yeah. The wheels turn because they were too sad about the, what they've lost. So fate has kicked in. Destiny is now turning and moving the devil to the bottom of the wheel. And uh, judgment goes to the top of the wheel. That means it's a resurrection. That's what I'm seeing. And this is about, you know, really ending those regrets. Clarify that spirit, those regrets with that four of cups. Yeah, the conflict not working on that conflict anymore. I feel there was a lot of conflict, right? It was just so much drama. It's like, I don't want to work on this anymore. I'm, I, that's why I put an end to it. Death, like death, death, end everywhere, manifesting everywhere. Challenge of the relationship with the sacred marriage, the emotional manipulation, all of that was a lot. This masculine is now releasing and he's noticing this alignment that's starting to come forward. And so he's not focused on this conflict with this third party anymore. Um, he wants to work things out with the divine feminine because he's taking his investments elsewhere. He doesn't want to wait around anymore. He's done of being stagnant in this energy. And yeah, his challenge is this attachment still. So what is this attachment? Oh, look at the judgment came out twice, right? So yeah, the sun being in reverse, he's depressed. He's not happy. He's in the shadow still. And he wants a complete resurrection. He knows his divine feminine is the harvest and knows that she is the resurrection, right? That is... Um, they're bringing up Mary Magdalene. You know, if you watch, um, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of my belief system about Christ. I don't believe he actually died on the cross. I think that was, and this is my opinion. So don't like come judging me on it. I do a lot of research in history and this is what I've been pulled to. Your connection with Christ may be different, but I believe that Christ went to India and studied Hinduism. And if you look at the way that, um, People were crucified on the cross. They're usually on there for seven days. Christ was only on there for three days. Uh, Mary Magdalene was there. And when she took the herbs to heal, they weren't they weren't embalming herbs in the Bible. They were um, herbs to heal. They were <laughs> herbs that heal cuts and wounds and things like that. I believe they went into massive separation and Mary Magdalene went to France and Jesus then went off to India and he taught there. And there is proof of a Christ being in India. So this is, and I was downloaded with a bunch of other things on top of that. So my belief here is the resurrection is the divine feminine healing the masculine. And, and I believe in my, and what I've been shown again, this is my belief system. So, um, that darkness and whatever this masculine was doing, and they're bringing up the story to share with you guys, because, um, 
the attachment that he was feeling, things not moving, things stagnant uh, with this third party situation and being, you know, in this darkness, in the shadows, a gateway opened up and he realized that gateway was the divine feminine, right? It wasn't before, you know, um, he couldn't see that door, but something has revealed itself to him. What has revealed itself to him? Wow. Oh my God. Two more cards. Look at this. His entrapment was revealed to the wheel in reverse and the hanged one in reverse. This is not my card. <laughs> the wheel wasn't turning, but isn't it funny how we got the wheel here? Right? Fate stepped in. The wheel is now turning. It wasn't turning when he was in entrapment and it showed him how many opportunities he's actually missing in his life. It really showed him how many opportunities were missing in his life. Wow. Yeah, things weren't moving in his life. They were completely stagnant, right? And Spirit is saying to take a look at this. Now he wants to travel and come towards this Divine Feminine with this Eight of Wands, communicate. He wants to end the cycles. He's ending a cycle so he can begin a new one. He's ended the illusions, the dreams, whatever he thought was his dream. He's ending the illusions to action and come take ownership for the betrayal towards the divine feminine and rise with the divine feminine for any injustices that he's done towards her and communicate very quickly i blocked that bitch that bitch is gone i blocked her you cannot believe <laughs> i'm sorry it's like it's like you have no idea what i've been going through i i i've won it i'm defeated i feel like this mask is a little proud he's like i'm proud that i actually got through that dark stuff this madison's got through massive dark he's like i got victory i healed it i healed it here with the star i moved through it i i want this union with you i'm coming back for more and i am victorious and i he's gonna be victorious there is like massive amounts of energy coming i broke i broke down the barriers i broke it down i i took the concrete walls around my heart i surrendered it to god all of my instability with this king of pentacles in reverse all of my instability ending my pain all of that pain all of the being you know um blocked from my own abandonment issues here i was blocked from my own abandonment issues suppressing the truth and things were revealed to me of where i was stuck and to stop fighting my union wow i don't even know where that came from guys that was amazing that was amazing spirit is saying let's get some oracles because that's the whole deck so oh wow yeah really good potent energy so i think this was the lead up spirit wanted me to do the divine masculine in three parts so if you haven't watched those other two parts go watch them don't forget to like and subscribe if you like that guys uh, if you want a reading email me i am open i've reorganized my calendar so email me for a reading um take a look at uh if you want to know the difference between a reading and a coaching session uh, you can email me or book coaching through my website all right what is going on with Thank you, spirit. The masculine towards the divine feminine, please. What is going on with the masculine towards the divine feminine? Yes. I knew we were gonna come together. I don't even know what that is. I'm just being ridiculous. I want to get to know you, my queen. I want to know you better. I know we're different, right? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I know we're different. But the differences is what makes the fabric of life. I don't want someone like me. That's what I'm here. I don't want someone like me. I want different. I want I want to try the sushi. I've never had sushi before. I want sushi. I've never I've never had curry. I've never had curry or samosas. I want curry and samosa. I want I want duck curry. I want I don't know. I just hear all kinds of things. It's like I haven't had this. I haven't traveled to your place of the country. I haven't been with somebody like you. I want the difference and I'm willing to accept that. That is really beautiful energy here. I want to flirt and take this slow. I extend your lighthearted energy. I want to get to know you again. I want to reconcile some of your past coming into your life. Okay. I want to come forward. I want to experience this heavenly, this heavenly connection. I'm currently asking friends to help me in this. Okay. So he's gathering support systems of coming towards you. Let's get some angel answers, guys. This was such a powerful read. Wow. Yeah. Really good read, guys. What are some answers here, viewer? If you want to pause it, just ask a yes or no question. It might come through. So let's see. 
what is going on for my viewers please with the divine masculine coming towards the divine feminine in this reading in the collective what is going on dms dm dm i want to romance you baby yes let's do the romance let's romance with god let's see what that's all about a year from now perfect timing so i feel like that can take up to a year from now okay guys i know sometimes you guys don't want to hear that remember this is a general read spirit is telling me that's the max okay so there's time to heal and progress it depends on where you're at it can take anywhere from like tomorrow to like or like the next five minutes to like a year from now okay perfect time it is that's why it came out together it is going to be the perfect timing for you so surrender let the energies of your union push you into your best self learn to catalyze and move through those energies without attachment very important again if you need coaching through that hit me up all right romance baby listen to your intuition i'm talking to you we are talking, we are having this, but don't attach to your intuition too, guys, right? You, us humans, we can't attach to anything. We got to allow it to flow. Be like, I hear you. I love you. Let's move forward. You know? So you stay clear. You became, you become an empty vessel to keep allowing, to keep allowing. So that was some time markers. Let's see. Spirit is pulling me to some more. Okay, Spirit, I hear you. I hear you. Let's do this. Is this what you want me to do? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do this first. Let's take a look at some divine feminine energies. When the divine masculine thinks of the divine feminine, this is how he sees, fair to saying, his divine warrior princess, this goddess, his angel. Let's see. How does the Divine Masculine see this Divine Feminine? <laughs> I see you as everything Divine Feminine. Well, I can't take that. <laughs> it's too much for a reading spirit. But spirit is like everything. How does this Masculine see this Divine Feminine? Hope. You give me hope. Yamea. Yamea. Yummy, yummy, yamea. <laughs> you give me hope, Divine Feminine. You give me hope when you do your work, when you heal, when you surrender, you, you give me hope, faith, hope and faith. Guys, how beautiful Joan of Arc and Yamea. You give me hope. You give me faith. You show me the way into those unknown territories because you are trusting to let go of the masculine carnal mind that keeps us trapped and you are bringing hope and you're bringing faith and you are persevering. I hope. Let's see what else is going on for the divine masculine. This is how the ma the energy the masculine is owning right now. Okay, you may want to look at these these gods. They're Joan of Arc, okay, Janine Dark, and Yamea. You may want to look those up. And this is the masculine energy here. What is going on with the masculine? How is he? What is going on with the divine masculine? What energy is he honing right now? We got two to match, two to match. We got Lou, skill. He is using his skills. I feel some of your masculines look like this too. Damn, whoo, that's nice. Um, <laughs> skill, <laughs> he's using his skills. Everything he's learned, he's realized he is well-equipped. He is that magician, right? He is well equipped to do this work. Now he's like, oh, I was trained in this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was. And we have Maui Discovery. Maui's hot too. Damn, who are your masculines? I want to know your masculines. <laughs> Look at this Maui. I'm discovering myself and I'm applying my skill and I'm surrendering and I'm working with that discovery entity and not a goddess or entity. Oh my God, God. And, um, yeah, I don't know why I said entity. So I feel like he discovered that maybe there were entities that were keeping him trapped in that dark stuff. I think that's what the slip up was. I just saw 3333 three, three on the, so that was Christ consciousness. So yes. And so I feel like he was trapped by this, some kind of entity here and he's discovered something and he's used some skill or he's gained some new skill that's helped him come out of this. 
And it's because of the divine feminine with the faith and the hope that he feels it that has pulled him through and is pulling him through. Okay, guys, that's some beautiful energy right there. All right, let me pull some messages for you. Um, what did I do with the messages? Oh, I gotta pause this. Hold on. Seriously, sometimes things are right in my face and I'm like, where are they? What's going on? What is going on? What messages does the Divine Masculine have towards the Divine Feminine? My viewers, if it turns up white, it is a direct message from the Divine Masculine to you. If it turns up black, it is Divine Feminine energy. And it is confirmation that he has received your telepathic message and vice versa. Okay, this is called the mirrored messages. They will also be for sale soon. What is going on with Divine Masculine? What is his messages to the Divine Feminine, please? He's picking up everything from the Divine Feminine. He's picking up. Listen, he's hearing you so hardcore Divine Feminine. We're going to hear the messages that he's 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 picking up first, like a lot. Okay, guys? He's hearing everything. His intuition has gone up through the roof. He's hearing everything you're saying. All right. So this is validation of what he's feeling, the Divine Feminine inside of himself, Okay. I know our love is beyond this world and maybe the world isn't ready for our love. I'm struggling with the depths I feel for you. So this is part of that surrender piece that your masculine is currently going through and wants you to know that he feels that the divine feminine is still in this place, like letting him go. Right. And he hears that inside of himself. And he's saying, I know that you're struggling with the depths and what we feel and you don't believe that I'm coming home, but watch baby. Right. That's really what I'm getting. I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't replace. You never leave my heart nor my mind. So this masculine is aware. So this masculine knows more than what's going on, right? Do you hear that bird? I don't even know what kind of bird that was. <laughs> and there's two birds that just landed on the windowsill. So, um, yeah, knowing that this was, a, he feels that he knows that the divine feminine knows that this is a completely different energy that, He's, he's, he's agreeing. He feels, he feels what the divine feminine is feeling completely. And he's feeling it on the inside too. This is, he's feeling this too. When you truly saw me, I saw myself. You illuminated my innermost sacred spaces, right? Beautiful. I wish we could talk. He knows divine feminine wants to talk. He knows, he feels it. That's why he's sitting here. Like, I don't know if I'm ready. Like, I don't know. I just have to do it. He's trying to trust that intuition piece, right? So even though he's picking up the messages, he's like, is this real? Like, am I hearing you? I was so, I'm so serious about mission work. It's all I can think about these days. He feels you aligned, figuring yourself out, divine feminine, knowing what you want. Like, yes, I want something sacred. I'm moving, I'm moving how spirit is moving me. I'm surrendering, I'm allowing. There isn't much I can do, but trust in a higher power. A day doesn't pass that I don't think of you. So he's feeling, he's feeling, he's getting bombarded by divine feminine energy. He's telepathically feeling it. He knows where she's at. And here is how he is responding right now. Divine feminine, could you tell where my head was at when you found me? Could you tell that I was not in a good space? Could you tell that I was dealing with some really heavy energies? I need you to trust what I'm doing to heal I don't process and heal the same way as you do. So his human self is aligning with his spirit is what I'm seeing with this message and saying, look, like I, I need to figure this out for this reconciliation. I need to know how to heal on my own before I can come to you. So I'm not dependent on you because you're a queen, right? Everyone needs to figure out their own process of how they work with God, right? I didn't trust the intensity. Now I know better. Please forgive me. Yeah, this masculine wasn't fully aware of how intense this connection was. And now he does. And he's like, please forgive me. I feel there's another message from the DM that wants to come through. Yeah, I felt that, man. This one came out, too, as the white. So let's go. I am reminiscing about us. Okay, so I felt there was more. Let's do this one. Yeah. 
I don't contact you because I need to rise my power. I need to rise up in my power. Let's do that again. I don't contact you because I need to rise up in my power on my own. You deserve a strong masculine to support and protect the power you bring down from the heavens. I am honored to do this for us. So he knows. That's why he's letting go, ending things, transforming. He's doing the work. I know being apart is painful, but please remember when we break our love, we'll have room to grow. It will heal everything. I promise spirit is purifying us for an amazing sacred union. Please go deep. I'm going to read that again. I know being apart is painful, but please remember when we break, our love will have room to grow. Remember Rumi said that when the heart breaks, that is the light of God coming in. It will heal everything, I promise. Spirit is purifying us for an amazing, sacred union. Please dig deep. Those are your divine masculine messages, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this resonated for you and you want a reading. Hit me up with an email. We can book you in. I have I reorganized my calendar for next week. So there are, I think, a couple slots left. So, yeah. And then, yeah. So I'm sending you so much like love and love i can't talk this reading was so intense i'm sending you so much love and light and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye guys <laughs>